Welcome guys. In this video on autoendoscopy pictures, we shall first see the picture of a normal ear and then we shall go on to pathological ears. We shall discuss both safe as well as unsafe ears in this video. So this is a picture of a normal ear. So if you if you see, one is pars flaccida, two is the lateral process of malleus, three is handle of malleus, four is umbo, here you can see the cone of light. Six is eustachian tube orifice. T is tensor tympani. Five is supratubal recess above the eustachian tube. P is promontory. Seven is hypotympanic cells. R is round window niche. Eight is your stapedial tendon. I is incus. O is oval window. And C is coda. And so this is your right ear. See, this is anterior where you have cone of light anterior inferior quadrant, anterior and posterior. So, this is the right ear viewed from the outside. Now, if you remove the tympanic membrane, you can see the contents like this. This is, of course, the same ear, the right ear. Here you have your attic, lateral process, handle, umbo, tensor tympani, eustachian tube orifice, supratubal recess, processus cochleariformis, corda tympani, long process of incus incudostepedial joint and this is your stepedial tendon going and attaching to the head of stapes and then this is your pyramidal process which is in the posterior wall of middle ear round window just above the round oval window is your facial nerve so this is a this is a right ear and this is a postro superior marginal perforation such a perforation is risky because epidermis or the skin from the external ear canal can just grow into it. It can advance into it forming cholesteatoma. You can also make out that the drum is thinned out. And this is the antero inferior quadrant. So, I mean, this is a very um, distorted cone of light. This is again the left ear. Here you can see a distorted cone of light. This is again a postero superior marginal perforation. You can see that the drum is extremely thinned out. Through this perforation, you can see that the handle of malice is, of course, medialized. Here you can see this is a stapedius tendon. This is your pyramidal eminence from the posterior wall of middle ear. It is attaching to the, uh, you know, the stapes here. This is a stapes superstructure. This is your round window niche. The residual tympanic membrane is very thin due to the absence of fibrous layer. There is a thick tympanosclerotic patch all along the margins. So in a surgery for this year, in addition to closing the perforation, you must make sure that the tympanosclerotic patch is removed. This is a medium central perforation. It is in the posterior quadrants. This is your left ear. This is your handle of malleus. This is the anterior part. This is the posterior part. This is a medium central perforation of the posterior quadrants. You can see the promontory, you can see the hypotympanic cells here. You can make out that through the postero superior part of the perforation, the skin is advancing into the incurostepedial joint and it's even epidermalization of the promontory. There is mucoid discharge inside the ear, inside the middle ear and there is a tympanosclerotic patch in the residual eardrum. In this, this is a central perforation. See, a central perforation is that which is surrounded by pars tensa all along. So earlier we had seen a marginal perforation where at least in the margins at a couple of areas, it is directly related to the bone. There is no pars tensa. Although in these areas there is pars tensa, here it is directly exposed. The bone is directly exposed. So it's a marginal perforation. Whereas this is a central perforation, it is involving the anterior and posterior inferior quadrants. So this is your left ear, this is your uh, malleus, this is anterior and this is posterior. So this is, is a medium central perforation involving the a part of antero superior, a bit of antero inferior and postero inferior quadrant quadrants. So through this you can see the hypotympanic cells, the eustachian tube orifice, inferior tympanic artery, the promontory and also the Jacobson's nerve. There is a tympanosclerotic patch in the remnant of the drum. This is the right ear. You can, you can see the handle of malleus. It's a large central perforation. This is a large central perforation. 
and the handle of malice is medialized through the perforation you can visualize the hypotympanic cells jacobson's nerve the promontory you can even also make out that the remnant of the drum is kind of retracted and it is almost draping over the i mean the incus this is your tubal orifice this is a subtotal perforation of the left ear drum so this is a subtotal perforation this is your handle of malleus which is foreshortened here you can see a bit of the long process of incus this is your round window niche this is a tubal orifice promontory inferior tympanic artery jacobson's nerve and the hypotympanic cells here you have a total perforation of the left ear drum you can very clearly see the tubal orifice hypotympanic cells promontory this is your medialized handle of malleus it is almost touching the promontory and here you have your long process of incus and the stapedial tendon and the stapes superstructure you can also make out some evolving tympanosclerosis these whitish tags are evolving tympanosclerosis this is a total perforation of the left ear you can see a very thin margin of the the annulus you can see here handle of malleus is present long process of incus stapedial tendon and behind you can see the stape is crure here you can see the round window niche inside you will find the round window membrane the hypotympanic cells inferior tympanic artery jacobson's nerve plexus and the promontory and eustachian tube orifice if you can make out this is your processus cochlearyformis and this is the facial going and this is the cauda tympani cauda tympani arises from the posterior wall of the posterior tympanic canaliculus and then it passes between the ossicles so this is your cauda tympani this is a perforation involving the inferior quadrants of the tympanic membrane you can see the tubal orifice this is the right ear you can see the tubal orifice this is your round window niche there is epidermalization of the promontory the epidermis has grown over the promontory there is a tympanosclerotic plaque in the posterior superior area of the drum this is a right ear epitympanic retraction pocket it's an early retraction pocket of the anterior attic this is a epitympanum here right ear epitympanic retraction pocket and you also can see the onset of tympanosclerosis here this is again the right ear epitympanic retraction pocket you can visualize a neck of malleus through this pocket this is a neck of malleus which you can visualize through the pocket this is again a right ear epitympanic retraction but there is erosion of scutum also the lateral attic wall is also eroded you can see the neck of malleus you can see the head of malleus so these cases can progress from a you know retraction pocket to an early attic cholesteatoma you can also make out that there is middle ear effusion in this drum medial to the past tensor here you can see a bubble and there is you can see the exudate or the thick yellowish glue so this is a right ear you can see an erosion epitympanic retraction with erosion of scutum you can see the neck and the head of malleus you can see effusion inside the drum these cases can progress into a cholestatoma attic cholestatoma this is a left ear retraction with erosion of scutum and there is also cholestatoma inside you can see the handle of malleus the umbo the neck and the head of malleus you can see the supratubal recess this is your tubal area tubal orifice and above it you have your supratubal recess this is a left ear epitympanum is eroded with cholesteatoma here you can see a large epitympanic erosion with cholesteatoma this again is your left ear this is your anterior part this is your posterior part the posterior attic is completely you know the pars flaccida is retracted and the scutum is eroded and you can see cholesteatoma the head of malleus and body of incus are eroded this is your right ear here you can see an attic retraction with erosion and cholesteatoma filling inside there is erosion of the head of malleus and the body of incus and through inside the cholesteatoma has formed a bulge onto the posterior superior area of the drum right over the stapes 
we can visualize a white mass in contact with the state is shown by this arrow it is the the cholesteatoma that has gone inside so here you can see erosion of the lateral attic wall or the scutum and this is cholesteatoma this is the right ear this is a deep erosion and it's an attic disease it is difficult to identify the side by just looking at this diagram but I believe this is your right side if this can be taken as a distorted cone of light. So here you can see a deep erosion of the scutum and cholesteatoma inside. This is your left ear. Deep erosion of scutum with epidermalization of attic and posterior mesotympanum. You can see cholesteatoma bulging the posterior part of the drum. The malleus head and incus are eroded. So this is your left ear, this is anterior and this is posterior. You can see a deep erosion with epidermalization of the attic. See how the epidermis grows from outside into the attic like this and also into the posterior superior mesotympanum. There is cholesteatoma inside which has bulged the posterior quadrants of the drum and you have erosion of malleus head and body of incus. There is a small structure seen here. It could be the stapes head or the stapes superstructure, but we need a you know a closer view to confirm what it is. This is the right ear. There is a postero superior marginal perforation with cholesteatoma inside. Cholesteatoma squames can be seen through this perforation. The cholesteatoma has extended anteriorly medial to the ossicles and it has formed a bulge in the anterior quadrant also. This is a total tympanic perforation of the right ear. There is no malleus handle. You can't see the malleus handle. This is a long process of incus and here you can see the stapedial tendon. You can see that the promontory as well as the incurostapedial area has been covered by cholesteatoma. These are the hypotympanic cells. This is a tubal orifice and this is your round window niche. The hypotympanic cells, the tubal orifice and the round window niche are free of pathology. The cholesteatoma is present in the incurostapedial joint, long process area, then the promontory. This is an attic perforation of the left ear. You can see a clear attic perforation with erosion of head of malleus. And there is complete adhesive otitis media of the past tensa. The past tensa has gone and completely stuck on to the promontory. You can even see a polypoidal granulation tissue inside the middle ear. So with this we have come to an end of this discussion. We shall be uploading more such pictures of uh, chronic otitis media and other diseases of the ear, autoendoscopy pictures. So whenever you get a patient, very clearly look into the ear using your otoscope, see all the quadrants of past tensa, uh, take that extra difficulty and see the attic region also. If at all you see a perforation, see if it is a central perforation, what is it surrounded by, see what all you can see through the perforation, tilt the head, tilt the otoscope and see through the perforation as much as you can. Only then you would be able to describe it in its entirety. Thank you.